G'day lads, Lance Corporal Grimm here, formerly of, well, of Thunder Kiwi Wolves. This time I've transferred to the Belgian army. I wanted to see how the Belgians did it. Alright, let's go. Got my rifle, got my stupid hat. Let's get ready to fight Jerry. Bloody Jerry's. Oh, they never seem to learn, do they? Oh, be friendly, eh? Help new people out. It's a good idea. Unfortunately, they don't seem to live longer than five minutes. Well, five minutes to get to the front line and then another 30 seconds getting out the trench. But, ah, well. Ah, oh, it is what it is. Bloody hell. Alright. Twice this sector was a pivotal point in the war. Twice a combined Allied army stopped the Germans from breaking through to Paris. Damn Paris. 1914, the scene sector saw a dramatic rallying of Franco-British offensive, halting the German advance and forcing the Germans to start digging in on the northern plateaus. Throughout 1915 and 1916, this frontline sector remained relatively static until 1917 in which the French attempted a disastrous breakthrough on the wall on the well-defended Chem de Dame, which ended in a mutiny. Damn mutinies! 1918 saw the return of movement. The meadows, forests and farm fields again became the scene of a final German push for Paris in the form of the Second Battle of the Marne. I have no idea where I was going with that accent, but oh well, lads. I think we got the picture. Alright. You seem to be... There we go. Right. I want... A French... What rifle do we want? We don't want to wield any Jerry rifle, so we'll wield a French one. Alright, lads. We're going to hold this ditch line. For Kagan Country. Ah, uh, in the name of the Commonwealth, in the name of the King, in the name of merry old England, we're going to fight for the Belgians, and in turn, we fight for England, wielding a French gun. Ugh. What else have we got? Oh, got a nice little pistol. Very cheery music there. Where's the band? I don't see a marching band. No matter. Right. Okay. Okay. It looks like, lads, we just have to sit and wait out for Jerry. Right. Battle plan. When they get over the hills, we shoot them. Well... I buy me we, I mean me. Because you buggers aren't here, are you? In fact, I don't even know who I'm talking to. This is probably what happens when you serve five years on the front line. You go loopy and think you're talking to people when you aren't. Still, uh, as a friend of mine in the British Army always said, talking to yourself is the only way to get intelligent conversation. Bloody Jerry's. I don't see him at the moment. Can't reload the rifle. What kind of pansy ass came up with this rifle? Oh well. Reload. Three round magazine for a bolt action rifle. Doesn't seem cricket personally. Whoa! Get my pistol. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Damn bloody Jerry's. Maybe the Jerry's have a point. We'll take a proper Jerry rifle. Use their own gun against them. Actually. Sorry, I was having a brain fart. I was thinking of promoting myself to an officer. But an officer doesn't get a good rifle like mine, so... We'll hang out here. Alright. We may have suffered a setback. We may not have killed a single Jerry. 
But this time, we're going to kill all the Jerry's. Alright, my lads. We just got to wait for reinforcements to get to us. Alright. Got myself a pistol. Got myself a browning. That's an American gun. Americans make good guns. Well, some good guns. Not all of them. But some of them are pretty good. Right. I hear the enemy attacking in the distance. Alright, my lads. We're not going to go down this easily without a fight. Alright, my lads. Just like back in the schoolyard, when these Jerry's come, we're going to kick the crap out of them. Where are they? There they are. They're coming in. Alright. Bloody Jerry's. Oh, they're shooting at me. Bloody help. Back it up. Good thing they can't shoot the head of possum. Piss off, Jerry. Fuck you, Jerry. There we go. Two dead. Three dead Jerry's. That's what we like to see in this army. None of this getting defeated before we can kill the single one. Got one. That's four dead Jerry's. Oh, I missed that one. It's all right. Five dead Jerry's. Take that, Jerry's. All right. Just like hunting kangaroos back in the back in the old outback. Except these kangaroos don't have guns. Well, I suppose these kangaroos don't have guns either. They've just got whatever the German weapons are. Get back here, Jerry's. Oh, this guy's a wily one. Good thing I got him, though. Oh. Yeah. Where did he go? I saw him. He was taking a pot shot at me. There you are. Nice, got him. Right, five rounds. There we go. Good old bolt action rifle. You can't beat it. Nice. Oh, and HQ's even giving me some artillery support. What a good thing. Alright. Alright, my lads. We're back in action. Grab some of the ammo from the ammo box. And let's have a look out over the horizon. She ain't too bad, I must admit. Oof. Oh, well. Wait for Jerry to come. They ain't getting past me again. Bloody artillery. It's cowardly to use artillery to win your battles for you. Bloody Jerry's. Well, let's say two can play at that game. Wait for the bombs to stop. And then we call in our own. Oh, piss. The use button isn't the use button on this new computer. Well, we don't need any fancy artillery to win battles. All we need is a rifle and grit. Bloody hell, that Jerry nearly got me. Back up, Jerry's. You ain't getting me without a fight. Yeah, eat it, Jerry. One round to the chest is all it needs. Shit, I saw a Jerry. Two Jerry's. He's hiding like a little worm. While his mate keeps running. Oh, that one's shooting back. Oh, I don't like it when they shoot back. Alright. Alright, you blokes. Oh, he hit me. He winged me right in my kneecap. Oh, shot me right in the bloody head. Bloody dishonorable, cowardly Jerry's. You know, I really wish I had some friends that would help me out with this fight. Seems like none of my friends want to join me in when I go into combat. Something about me being psychologically unstable and volunteering for suicide missions. But I think they don't know what the hell they're talking about, the cowards. 
All right. We may have been pushed back for now, but we're still leading a vital effort for the war effort. More bloody artillery. These Jerry's think if they keep doing the same combat as last time, they'll somehow defeat me. I'm not going to let them get away with it. Yeah, you drop your bombs, Jerry. I ain't falling for it. Alright, bloody Jerry's. Come off it. Ugh, ow, ugh. Bloody Jerry's. Right, back into the finch. The fig. Back into position. Bloody Jerry's are cowardly evil bastards. Right, we've been pushed back right to the end of the limit. Alright, I think what we need to do is we can't defend the point by ourselves. But what we can do is hide out to the side and ambush them when they get here. That's how you do it. You ambush them. Right. It's just like when you're hunting down kangaroos or koalas. You ambush them. Bloody artillery again, these crafty German devils. Right. Mm. Okay. There they are. I can't believe I missed. Can't believe I missed again. Oh, bloody hell. Must have dropped my rifle and messed up the sight somehow. Bloody hell, that German just teleported. Did you see that? Ah, bloody Jerry's. Die! Die, 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 die! Bloody hell. Always have a second gun on you, lads. Right, you! Right. Let's crouch down. Bloody Jerry's. Ah! I didn't even reload my gun! What am I on? Bloody as mad as a man who spent three days in the outback without water. Bugger off. Right. Who's shooting at me? Get my gun. Real. Alright. They've left me alone for a minute. Ow. That was bloody bullshit. Bloody bullshit. I need friends to help me out with this one. 